Welcome back to Stardew Valley. I am your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, we're in episode 54. Um, we're approaching 500k in total earnings, which is cool. Um, the trivia question from last time was, which company created the game World of Warcraft? And the answer is Blizzard Entertainment. So that's that one. Trivia question for this time is, what are the two major elements that make up the sun? So when you think of, you know, periodic table of elements, what are the two major ones that make up the sun? Uh, let's see. Thursday the 11th. Nothing on... Wait for it the calendar today or tomorrow um and really there's nothing major going on in terms of stuff that we need to do uh we don't need to upgrade anything because we need the axe to collect hardwood so that's one of the things that we're going to do today uh it's a very bad luck day so basically the plan for today is go get the hardwood um we might try and swing back by the, the farm. Why am I going to the phone? Um, anyway, we're going to try and go visit Maru because she'll be at work. Um, but ultimately, I had down either to go fishing or mining, kind of depending on luck. And, you know, just basically do a lot of it today. And, and it's going to be fishing, I think, because with the bad luck day, I don't want to be grinding away in the mines. All right. Thanks, Coop. Oh, I thought, yes. I was like, tell me you're going to move that far and then just barely not let me in. All right. I'm wondering if this is going to be enough seeds. So there's going to be 10. I'll get probably three more harvests from these. That would be 12 plus those seven three times yeah, this is going to be enough. I don't need to plant anymore. I'll end up with a lot of strawberry seeds from this, y'all. Because you'll average basically two seeds per uh, unit that you put in there. So, anyway, not worried about it. We'll get however many we get is the bottom line. No, don't eat the mushroom. All right. So we can go back to just selling eggs instead of collecting them or whatever. So that's cool. At some point, I should probably build a loom... You know, I've got a bunch of wood, and I'm like, oh man, I got lots of wood, right? Well, you know, I still need to craft a ton of stuff. Um, I mean, I need kegs still. I need uh, cheese makers. I need um, mayonnaise makers. I need... house upgrades and such that are going to require wood. So we'll burn through it pretty quickly. All right, so I got my four goat's milks now, and I've got four regular milks. So we're going to put one of each, I suppose, in there. And now we're going to... We'll sell that. Why not? Sell, 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 sell. Uh, I don't know if I still need another duck egg. I don't know why I keep closing the gates. <laughs> like, it's just a habit, but I don't need to close them for any reason whatsoever. All right, now. Um, all right, I already got, let's keep another mayo, and we'll keep another duck feather. And now as for this stuff... 
Just pop that in there. Pop that in there. I only got one strawberry seed there, but it's not a big deal. Basically, I'm just going to... Yeah. Boom. And I got one more. So I better get three out of that next one or I'm going to be mad. All right. So what did I say we need to do? Visit Maru. Uh, and I can give her a gift, right? Yep. So... Uh, where are you? Right there. Yeah, uh, we need to go cut wood. So we'll go cut the hardwood. I'm going to let those things get on cycle. Let's see what this guy wants. A diamond. So we'll go do that. Our strawberry will be ready by the time we get back there. But I want to get the uh, the maple syrup and the pine tar, all that stuff on the same cycle. All right, so we did get three that time. That's good. Now, we need a diamond for our sturgeon pond. And wait for it. Yay, they're happy. Or he's happy. Everyone, look! Fresh diamond! He's saying that to nobody else. <laughs> you don't have any friends there, Mr. Sturgeon. So maybe he was so lonely he was going crazy and imagining friends. I already have the rusty spur, so... I'm going to have lots of duplicate artifacts, y'all, because I've been saving them from the get-go. And boy, do I wish I would have saved the computer... The dwarf, the dwarf gadget or whatever, so that I could build the farm computer before I would have donated one to the museum. Because I don't think there's any question which thing I care about more right now. I would ten times rather have that sweet computer. Even though I don't even really know how cool it is, I would way rather have it than have given that thing to the museum. It's okay, though. We'll get another one eventually. And as soon as we do, we will build a computer. Die. Oh, my gosh. Slimes are giving me some fits today. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Keep coming up there. Haha, <laughs> you can't get... Ooh, I got a jade from him. Nice! So, we will want to um, head on up to Robin's today and drop off the hardwood. We got 16 more today. So, we're basically getting like 30 every other day what it comes down to. Um, how many days do I have left on that quest? I've got four days left, and I've gotten over 15 average. So, yeah. We won't finish it in two days, but we will finish it on the third day, leaving us with an extra day. So that's cool. Should I buy any animals while I'm down here? Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I need. I should probably have at least like one sheep, but I really don't need sheep. The only thing you need them for is wool, and I don't care about wool. Um, we should probably save the money, though. Let's save up our cash so that when it's spring, we know that we're loaded and, you know, basically what I'll do, I, at some point I need to figure out how much cash I'm going to need going into the spring. Um, and buy however many pigs I can afford without jeopardizing my spring crops situation. Uh, boom. All right, so we're going to go visit Maru. Go hit up Robin, and then go fishing. What's up, Pam? 
How many of those am I going to get? It's all for gold. Well, maybe wear something with long sleeves. I don't know. Or do some jumping jacks or something. Get the blood flowing. That'll help keep you warm. All right, we got to help wanted. What's it say? Maru wants a midnight carp. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have one. Let's go get it. Because that'll get me to 10 hearts with her faux show. Plus, it'll knock out a help wanted and get me 450 bucks. So, this is why we keep fish like that. And other items. So, when somebody says that they want one, for whatever reason... There it is. Right there. Boom! Uh... So, you go in there, hand axe, where you at? Okay. Moving on. Going back to Harvey's to hopefully catch Maru. Man, it's 2 o'clock already. So, we're looking for Maru. We'll give her the... Um, sweet Pea. Then we'll give her... Midnight carp. No, I don't have an appointment. Hey, what's up? It's a good time to explore the caves. I don't really think it is. It's a bad luck day. This is a super gift. Thank you. All right. Well, she's at 10 hearts. So this is just icing on the cake. Now she can continue working on the project she was working on. All right. What do you need a fish for for that project? Like... Hopefully it's not the same kind of project as your robot. Oh, we didn't do... Um, I know something we can do today. Uh, first, let's go... Let's go to Robin's and drop that stuff off. You know what? And then we'll do the thing tomorrow that I'm thinking about. Because there might actually be a couple of things that I can do tomorrow. I think Robin might end up being done with my... Um, shed upgrade. Oh. I was hoping you'd come by. How did she beat me here? I was on horseback. Remember when I told you about the new project I'm working on? The big one? Yeah, the one that you almost zapped me on. Or, or you did zap me. Well, it's finally done, and I want to show you. Meanwhile, Demetrius is just like, you know, Hanging out here in the hallway like a creeper. Ooh, she's got a trap door. Would you look at this? Where are we going? And now Demetrius is coming by. Huh? He's confused. I don't know why he's confused. All right, so we're downstairs, and look at this. It's the robot. The interactive laboratory device alpha. Or, as I like to call it, Marilda. All right, Marilda. I've been working on her for months. I was waiting for you to be here when I activate her. This is the first time I've seen this uh, cutscene, interestingly enough. Maybe you have to be at 10 hearts and be her girlfriend? Because I'm sure I've been to 10 hearts with her. Well, here goes nothing. Whoa. Whoa. All right, careful. Whoa, her head's spinning around. Its head is spinning around. Sweet. It's like a little touchdown celebration right there. Greetings, Maru. No need to respond. I have already predicted what you will say. And Demetrius just materializes out of thin air. Aha! I knew it! He's all scared. What is it? Maru's like, Dad, calm down. It's my latest invention. Marilda. Greetings, Demetrius. Sweet Yoba, it talks? Yeah, sure does. This is why you've locked yourself in the room the last few months? Like, is he disappointed here? Oh. He thought we were down here making out. <laughs> and we're both horrified. 
Maru is upset. Like, Dad, come on now. Did this to help around the house. That's pretty cool. I'm sorry, Maru, but I do not want to be your servant. Ooh, Marilda is like, I don't really like this. In the time since you activated me, I've been pondering the nature of my existence with the self-awareness module you installed in my neural cortex. I'm sorry to disappoint you all, but I must ask for my freedom. I've decided to explore the galaxy in search of other synthetic life forms. This thing is going to explore the galaxy. Wait, what? Dude, Maru, rule number one when, you know, designing a robot is make it be your, your slave. Your mother and I can take care of ourselves. I know you're ready to start a life of your own, and I've come to terms with the thought of not having you around anymore, says Demetrius. So Demetrius is now sending signals that it's, like, cool for her to get married. All right. And Marilda's excited. Evan, I'm sorry I mistrusted you. You're a good dude. All right. Giggity, giggity. So... Demetrius likes me now. Maru, I'm sure, likes me, right? I mean, she is my girlfriend after all. We're at Ten Hearts. We're going to get married in early spring. As soon as it rains, y'all, getting that marriage pendant. All right, so here goes Marilda. Thank you for creating me, Maru. I won't forget you. It's got freaking jetpacks in its feet? <laughs> Maru made that. That's pretty impressive, Maru. Maybe you can make one and don't give it, like, a heart and soul. Or, you know, a desire for free will. And have it do my, you know, crop watering. Take care of the animals. Let's just make a bunch of them. There it goes. Straight up into outer space. Even though it's the middle of the day, the, you had the nighttime sky there. So that's cool. Look at her go. Well, that was interesting. Pretty cool cutscene there. What do you think, Evan? I am so impressed with your inventions. I'm disappointed. <laughs> You're so your dad is okay with us now. I'm you know let's let's keep it about the robot. Uh, you know what? Let's do this one. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> she. Yeah, I guess he did kind of say that, didn't he? Um, no! Don't make it weird. <gasps> oh, look at this! Got a little smooch on the cheek. Yeah. Alright. What's up, Demetrius? Yes, I have animals on my farm. No, I need you to go away so I don't accidentally give you... 80 hardwood. Boom. So, that part's done. Now we just need to continue to gather the 80 wood. Which, why does Robin care if I gather it when I, I gave her the 80 that she needed? Why does she care when I got it? Jeez. Alright. Um, yep, we're just going mining, I suppose. This day got a lot longer because of that freaking cutscene. It's okay though. We're gonna go. We're gonna keep going to level 105. This will be our spot. Again, objectives are basically. Oh my gosh! Hit that. Ooh, Omni Geo. Nice. Maybe the trick is to swing and miss three times before you actually hit what you're aiming for. Come on, dude. <clears throat> anyway, so tomorrow we are going to. Um, what are we going to do tomorrow? Hopefully our shed is ready. If it is, we're going to have to spend some time rearranging it. Um, which will probably mean we will also do some crafting of 
kegs and maybe a few other pieces of equipment. You can tell it's a bad luck day because I am not getting a ladder. There it is. But anyway, um, if it's a shed rearrangement day, that's going to take up most of the day. And then maybe we can spend a little bit of time um, fishing, but it's also traveling cart day. Do I have that written down? I do. Um, so we'll need to go get the hardwood. We'll need to rearrange the shed. Perhaps go fishing for a little bit when we're all said and done with shed rearrangement. Anyway. Ooh, strange bun. Thank you, sir. Golly, I need that galaxy sword so I can kill those things before they can even get to me. Just takes too many hits, and they it doesn't knock them back. So they just keep coming at you. They get to you before you can kill them, because they move so fast. <clears throat> Ooh, secret note. We'll check that in a second. So it's 6.30. I'm trying to think. There's nothing else that I really need to do today. So... Oh my gosh. Where is the ladder? Two floors in a row we sp spent searching all over the place for it. This is crazy, y'all. I mean, I know it's a bad luck day, but... You see stuff, stuff like this, and this is your proof that, yes, it is. Luck does, in fact, make a difference. So... All right, let's just, and then I get here, and there's a ladder just sitting there. Oh my gosh, turn and hit him. And then we get a ladder anyway. So that's just like a slap in the face. Get away from me, dude. I don't want to deal with you. All right, we're going to take off here in a minute. I don't really need to be spending a ton of time down here. How much coal did we get out of this? Four. Dang it. Wait, didn't we get... <sighs> we need to get to level 10 mining. But, whatevs. Oh, I gotta sneeze. I can feel it coming on. Wait for it. There it was. Oh, we got two fire quartz out of that box. Or that crate. Alright, let's get out of here. It's 9 o'clock. That sneeze was the indicator that it was time to go. <laughs> Alright. We'll grab that gold right there and that's it so leave the mine we got two secret notes what do we got here i borrowed a necklace from mom but lost it somewhere near the bathhouse so we're putting that one down on the list to do she's gonna freak out if she notices it's, it's missing we can't do that one yet but we'll do it eventually. What about this one? Uh, okay, so obviously these are train tracks. And X marks the spot. Ooh, what could it be? Let's go and maybe check that out right now. Even though it's 940 at night, what could go wrong hanging out by train tracks late at night? Let's get these wormies. And these wormies. Now, remember on the picture, it had that rock like right there. So you just dig right next to the rock and boom, treasure chest. Remember, we got one of these earlier and I believe we just sold it. This one we are going to keep because we're going to turn that one into something awesome. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. But 
just know that it's freaking awesome. All right, let's get to bed here. I can bust open Geode here. Boom. 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 Uh, where do I want to keep that treasure chest? I guess we'll put it right there. I, I don't really have a good spot for it, honestly. So, do that. Do that. Uh, that. Strange bun. Where am I keeping... Oh, in the in the refrigerator. We're keeping food. Um, burglar's shank. I'm just gonna put you in the trash. I know I could have gotten more for that by taking it to the adventurers guild. I just don't spend a lot of time in the adventurers guild, frankly. It's out of the way, and I just don't want to deal with it. All right. Uh, speaking of which. There's another thing that we can do. All right. Let's go to bed. Now, it's going to be Friday the 12th. Um, we've got hardwood to cut, traveling cart to go to. So those are kind of both in the same place, which is cool. Other than that, really the only thing I have on the to-do list is to, to rearrange the shed if it is ready. All right, it's gonna snow tomorrow. It's a good luck day. Why couldn't it have been a good luck day yesterday when I wanted to go mining? Dang it. Uh oh. Okay, look at this. So since we got the ten hearts, Lewis says, Evan, if you're gonna give. I'm going to give you this advice because I like you and I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day that you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Don't worry. Everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of the amulet. It's an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck. Oh, we got more. Ooh, what is this? I am researching the forgotten art of shadow divination. I require an item known as Void Essence. Bring it to me, and you will be rewarded. M. Rasmodius Wizard. Okay. So, the wizard wants a Void Essence. We can do that, wizard. Hey, koopa -Doo. What's going on, buddy? Let me through! Let me through! Oh my gosh, I... Get rid of you. Take you to the pen. Nothing going on there. Our trees are coming along. And our ancient fruit should be ready in the next couple of days. I think the 15th or 16th. So. Alright, so he wants that. What else did we have here? Robin's project. And then get to level 100 in the Skull Cavern. Ooh. Uh, do I have one of these in here that I can stack it upon? I do. Uh, let's grab a geode. Boom. Oh, yeah, look, our shed is huge. So we'll do that today. And that's going to take some time, and some of it we can't do because our kegs are uh, occupied. But we can do most of it. So, all right, we got another dino egg. I already have one saved. Did I make a dino mayo? I can't remember, but we're going to do one now. Just because. All right. Boom. I guess we'll hit the cows while we're... Kinda. Nope. There we go. Alright. Wait, how did I get a goat's milk? What in blazes? I'm 
confused. Okay. I just tried to milk all of my cows. Okay. And <laughs> they all told me they don't have milk. But yet, I only have three goats, or three cow's milks. And I got one goat's milk out of a cow. Apparently. Something weird just happened, y'all. That's bizarre. I don't understand it. I'm not going to act like I should. So, whatever. Uh, we'll keep the seaweed, I guess. I think I need to save that purple mushroom to refill the inventory. One goat's, or one cow's milk can go in there. Let's go, uh, let's check the uh, fish ponds real quick. Nothing. <sighs> that lava eel gave me row like, the first day. And then nothing since. So let's do this. Boom. Boom. We're going to start keeping like half cheese in each place there. If that makes sense. Boom. 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 Uh, let's do that. Now that these are empty, we can move them. So... Oh, this is going to be terrible. Um, how do I want to do this? We're going to craft another chest. Boom. All right. Now, basically, just grab everything out of there. And move it here. This is going to take a minute, so I'm going to just stop, and then we'll come back and finish the day after you see me do all of this nonsense, or don't see me do it. Okay, and so we're back, and basically what we did is we've got, as you can see on the bottom here, our seasonal bins, so spring, summer, fall, winter. This is our foraged goods with our work our workbench in the middle. And then our minerals and stuff here so that most of the things that we want to craft, we can just come straight to the workbench. I'll demonstrate here. I can go to the workbench and it shows me everything that I can craft with the items that are in those bins because they're adjacent to it. Um, speaking of which, we need to do two signs. So let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and do some more cheese presses. Why not? We'll do, uh, let's just do two. We're going to do three more mayo makers. Uh, how much coal do I have? 70. So like four bee houses will take about half of that. Why not? Even though that doesn't help me right this moment, it's okay. Now I can make 26 kegs because I have 26 iron bars. Let's make 10. Um, now kegs, I can actually start putting out um, we're going to put them along the back wall. This will all come together, but I can't really do a whole lot until my kegs and my crystallariums are done, and I can move. I'll move my crystallariums down here. In fact, don't I have another furnace somewhere? I do. Let's go ahead and grab it. Um, and it's going to go right there. Uh. And then do that. That seed maker is temporary. So and eventually the crystallariums will come down here. Um, you know. Anyway, this will all make sense. Don't worry about it. But just keep in mind that it's going to be glorious. There's going to be a ton of kegs in here and some preserves jars. It's basically what it comes down to. So over, well, whatever. You kind of saw how I had it arranged. And you will get the gist of let's go do our signs first so as you can see when i put this sign right there now it shows me that i have one sturgeon in there and i have two lava eel in there 
I just think that looks nice. Plus, it, it makes it easy for me to remember what's in each pond. As if the red water for the lava eel doesn't give it away. All right, you come with me, and then boom, boom, boom. Uh, no. Might as well go ahead and grab those now. Boom, boom. I don't even remember where they have. Oh, I still need to go hardwood chopping. Uh, so let's put boom, boom, boom. Those right there. Does the trick. And bee houses. Then we need to go cut hardwood and visit the traveling cart. So, that went pretty well. Um, it's just one of those things that it probably took me 10 minutes to do, to do that. And so it would have been 10 minutes of you watching me go back and forth, open up a chest, grab everything out of it, put another chest down, put all that stuff back in that chest. It's just tedious. All right. Come on, red cabbage. <sighs> five more times she comes to town at least here now next week she'll be at the winter market three days but I don't know if she's any more or less likely to bring the red cabbage uh, in fact if I remember correctly she tends to bring like on the first day she brings items that are spring season things and then on the second day it's summer why did i get off way back there the second day it's all um summer stuff and then on the third day it's all fall stuff i could be wrong about that but i feel like that's the case what <laughs> yeah did you do your homework Cool, cool. I don't know. It's funny. Like, you know, my kids know I'm in here. And I just close the door, like, kind of hoping that they won't, you know, barge in and bother me. But they always just come to the door. And I don't know what it is. But they just, they don't open the door. They're just, you know, they talk to me through the door. It's hilarious. But they're, they're good kids. As you can tell, like, I can come in here and do this. Man, we didn't get that much today. That stinks. So, how much are we at now? 59. So, two more days of this will definitely eclipse that 80 count. So, uh, what was I going to do next? Uh, let's just go fishing. It's already 5 o'clock. Instead of going home, dropping stuff off, and then trying to go find somewhere to go fishing, we'll just go fishing down here. Since we're already here. First. Boom. Marnie's heading to the saloon. Could have tracked her down to say hello, but whatevs. I'm kind of digging the uh, little overlay around me there on the video feed. It's pretty sweet. Alright. We're not really after any objectives here other than to just kind of kill some time and get a little bit of cash out of this ordeal. But the hope is that we get some treasure. It's a good luck day, so we should get a fair amount of treasure chests. So I'll bet if we fish until about nine or ten o'clock we could catch four fresh treasure chests wouldn't that be something we really 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 want a prismatic shard i mean i cannot stress it enough at this point because it is really hindering my progress 
in the Skull Caverns at this stage. Rare Disc. I've gotten two of those in this playthrough when I couldn't get one for three and a half years of my last playthrough. And if you remember, on the third day of this playthrough, I got one. I mean, it was like the ultimate slap in the face, y'all. Uh, I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, we got some wild bait. Boom. No, 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 no. I almost just accidentally threw that away. All right, 10 wild bait. That's a pretty good deal right there. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Are you effing kidding me? No. Stop calling me. I don't have time to chat with you at the moment. They call again. We're going to have words. I'm going to answer the phone just to tell them, like, I am busy right now. If this is an emergency, then let's chat. If it's not an emergency, I will call you back. Like, holy crap. Ooh, that was close. But we got the perfect catch. The perfect pike. I love when the bubbles are right next to the shore. Like, I have not had much luck with bubbles in this playthrough. Where the few times that I've seen them, they haven't really been in places that were real conducive to me taking advantage of them. Come on. Prismatic shard. We're going to fish until we're out of the wild bait, I suppose. Oh, and we got algae with one of them. That's not ideal. Does anybody know, and I assume that the answer to this is, that, is no, but can you catch two legendary fish if you've got wild bait on? I would imagine that you can't. But how awesome would it be if you caught the legend fish when you had wild bait on and got two of them? Because, like, you can't catch it once you've caught it once. All right, this is our last piece of bait here. Dang it. And we got two algae with those ten freaking wild bait. Actually, we're going to put the regular bait back on here, and we're going to fish... Until we get another treasure chest. So. I lied. So one treasure chest. And then we'll head home. And that will wrap up the episode. But. Uh, I'm trying to think of what all the heck we got done this episode. For me. I feel like I got a lot done. Because. Holy crap. That's a link cod. Can we get the link card and the treasure? Got the treasure. And we're going to get them. Piece of cake. Never in doubt. And a magma geode. Anyway, it feels to me like what got a lot done because I rearranged the chest, but y'all didn't see that. We did get the cutscene with Maru, uh, which was pretty cool. Um... Not as many cutscenes as the last episode. Like we had a couple with Sebastian. Uh, who else did we have him with? Can't remember. But anyway. Oh, we had the, the ones with Gus. Oh, look at this. There's our uh, there's our wine. So I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna move my kegs and then I'll bring it back whenever it's ready to behold. Okay, so i uh, got to keep this kind of quick because that took me a little bit of actual time like on the game clock. So it's pushing midnight here. Uh, not a big deal. But basically what we did was we moved our crystallariums uh, down here and then we rearranged our kegs. So basically there will be a row down the middle so that I can get down here and then basically we'll just kind of do these long horseshoes 
around the edges. So then what we'll do is come in and we'll grab, I can't remember how many kegs I have. Uh, it's probably like 25 or somewhere in that neighborhood. And then basically we just go skadoosh. Oh, whoa, more than that. Um, so 32 per horseshoe, essentially. Uh, now that's the, I've got the one down the middle there. How did that, whatever, did I miss one? Anyway, we'll figure it out later, but that's, that's basically how we're going to do that. So let's go ahead and go to bed. I've got 22 bottles of wine. It is 32 because I think I made 10 more kegs, if I remember correctly. So anyway, we're going to get a decent payday. Uh, let's keep that blue dwarf scroll. So anyway, lots done today, y'all. Where are you going to go, blue dwarf scroll? Right there. So if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment below, and we'll see y'all next time.